Hi guys, um, today I'm recording uh, a video showing the implementation of OpenSCAP, which is a security compliance tool. Uh, it allows you to run uh, security checks on your Linux systems. So let me just exp let me just tell you a little bit about the layout. So the base operating system is a Linux Cent uh, CentOS 7. On top of Linux, we'll install Formel, which is a deployment, uh, which is a deployment platform. And within Formel, we will install the OpenScape plugin. All right. So let's begin. Uh, okay. So this is the machine. Okay. This is the this is the Linux CentOS 7 machine, which is called Formel. And uh, this is a local domain that I've created. So what you do, you just go to the foreman. The foreman. Okay, because we need the documentation and the manual on showing us how to install it. So you can come here to documentation, manual, and uh, foreman 1.18, that's the latest version. Or format well um, at this present time okay yeah so these are the these are the few things you can do with it let's go quickly on to quick installation we'll select uh, the operating system that we will run this on which is on Linux CentOS 7 and here are the steps that you have to follow so basically you will just copy one command at a time you do that because I've already installed it it's just telling me that it's already installed but this is what you have to follow okay uh, this is the most important one which basically does the format installation once you run this it will it will run the format install um, I've just installed it now, so it's going to go pretty quick. Okay, there it is. It's done. Now these are your... Uh, these are the details that you need to use. This is the, the URL. So I can come on here and then I connect on to it. I need to accept. Let's make sure everything is running. Foreman, no, foreman is not running. I need to start him. Let's have a look at the proxy. Proxy is running, but we just gonna restart it. And, uh, Oh, you know what? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, don't don't specify that uh, IP address. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm logging into the format proxy. Okay, no, so that's the URL. I was using the wrong one. Okay, and uh, these are credential which you need to change right away. There we go, logged in. Just gonna change the password now. 
current password, new password. Okay, that's that good. And as you can see, oh yeah, so we've got one host which is itself uh, that it's picking up. All right. So now we need to go ahead and install OpenSCAP. All right. So we follow the same process. You go documentation. It's going to be a plugin. Okay. So you go plugin and then you go OpenSCAP. And then you can select the latest version. Okay. So this is the how to install. You can go through it. But basically, this is where we're going to start. Put in here, we run him. Let's get the following command. Okay, this, uh, this is, these are a set of command if you're doing it manually. So you don't need to do that because we're using that. The second thing we'll do is this. Okay. Yeah, that's installing seventy eight percent. Come on, okay, let me pause it for the sake of the video. Okay, it's going, it's moving, come on, 89%. Ah, it's stalling again, come on. Okay, now it's at, it's at the end. Good. So now we need to do this one. That's the, that's the second step. So this installs the format proxy plugin OpenSCAP. This looks like the same one. Form and proxy, form and plugin. Oh, that's the proxy, that's the plugin. Okay, yeah. It's a different one, yeah. Yeah, this seems to be moving a bit faster. It's a good thing. Good, done. Now, okay, this is if, it's basically already installed us, but this is if you wanna do it manually. Okay, so next thing you gotta do, okay, you know what, I need to, I need to install Vim. I'm much more comfortable with that. Let me do it quickly. Things seems to be slow here today.
I need Vim. Okay. Okay, it's taking a bit long because it's uploading all these repos that it's installed. Alright, oops, oops, oh my god, so many things. That's all I need. That's the package that I want. Then once that installs, we'll go to the OpenScap. Yarn configuration, change a couple of things. Good. Now it's here for my proxy settings that the okay. So you need to change this to true. Uh, you know what? Let me. Yeah. So you know these are these are the directory that are pointing to to where OpenScap needs to look at. You know, depending on uh, depending on what it's going to be looking at. So this would be the content directory. That's the small directory. Yeah, okay. So content directory is there. Okay. Start. Get is that like that. Now what you wanna do Okay, so look, what's the second step? Yeah, okay, so you need to install this module. This is uh, this is the open scape module. Let's install this quickly. This should be quick. After this, okay, good. After this, we can move a bit faster. Uh, so let's say yes. Cool. Good. It's done. So what we're gonna do? Oh man, rank minus capital T. Rank minus I escape. Okay, this is what we need. So we're gonna do form and rec open scout park that default. Okay, so this will upload this will upload the con the, the scap content, the default scap content. Um let's give it some time. Yeah, you see, there's it. It's uploaded this one, the Reddit Center 6. It's uploading that. Need all of them uploaded. Okay, good. It's done. Now, what we need to do, we need to come here. Uh, where are my classes? Uh, yeah, classes. We need to import the scap module. Okay. All right. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have to. But okay, so that's done. And then if you go to, because at this point in time it's installed. So if you go to Scap Content, yeah, there are the contents that we need. So that's good. So now what you want to do 
you want to go create your first policy okay you do that then we're gonna call this CentOS base OS we can call it this you can call it anything you want next we'll choose CentOS default and we'll choose standard system security profile okay um, well you, you could choose any other one but you know this is the one that I wanna uh, that I wanna that I wanna look for okay so this is the scalp content and it's going to, to check it against this profile then next then we'll say custom then we'll say uh, you know what for now let's just say weekly at Sundays okay on Sundays do that good okay so first policy has been created now what you need to do you need to go to this file TC Puppet Labs code we'll go to environment we'll do production we'll do module and we are interested in the open scale module and um, we want to read me because this is where it will show you how to how to define your uh, your puppet your puppet configuration for the client and uh, this is how it's gonna be okay so if you like you can get it quickly and then what we're gonna do we're gonna create I'm gonna create a file here in manifests we'll call it format.pp you can create anything you're gonna define a node the node will be will be thus so this is the client okay uh, well the client in a sense because I'm you know I'm gonna scan it's it's gonna scan itself okay do that and then in there you will put with us okay now this is a class so it's picking up your format class the server that is the server okay and uh, you can leave the port that, uh, like that uh, the repository remember we installed format 1.18 and the, the key will get the key from you can get the key from here <sighs> CentOS CentOS base on the CentOS base no, not CentOS uh, format version is 1.18 this is the path to the key that's what we need I'm gonna put it right here policy now it's the first policy because this is the one that we created and then here we can say every hour at five uh, so this is the uh, this is just a cron that you can define the same cron that we define on the GUI but you can define it here as well so I'm gonna leave it six for instance now profile ID I'm gonna show you what the profile ID is uh, okay remember when we uploaded the scape content so this is where the scape content are and uh, which content are we doing? We, uh, we we doing this content here. 
that's the one that we're doing so you can inspect us to get the profile ID with the OSCAP OSCAP info full path and then you query the one that you uh, that you're gonna run against okay it gives you a whole listing uh, remember we did standard system security profile so this is the one that you're interested on okay so this will be my profile ID okay and then the content path that's the full path the full path to the data stream to the data stream that you are going to run this against so here is the full path that's how it's going to look like let's just leave it as is this is the full main uh, downloading path and Taylor if you're not tailoring anything you can uh, can just leave it empty like that, okay? Turn pop. No, turn pop. Yeah, okay, it's fine. You're not defining anything, so we can leave it like that. Yeah, so everything looks good. So now, I need to save this. And you can go have a look. So what you want to do, you first want to run this manually. So you want to come have a look at the cron job here, which will be in template cron, and then you get the command that it runs. Now this is the command that it runs. So it runs this plus the policy uh, the policy ID. So you can run this manually. You can run it like that. Just to make sure. Oh no, before you do this, you need to run puppet agent minus T. So, so the agent can uh, basically update the configuration that we just added. Now you can run this against the first policy so you see this is what it's doing in the background it's doing this this is this is the command that it's running it's running an open scap it's doing an evaluation on the profile this is the result this is the data stream file yeah so it's it's now doing the check once it's done it will tell you that okay uh, the report has has, uh, has been uploaded so let's just pause this okay so as you can see it's done running it and um, the result have been uh, uploaded okay oops uh, so now when you come here and you go to compliance report you see hmm, there is no report that's French. French. Plus, plus. Um, okay, let's have a look. Okay, uh, I think I know why we're not picking it up. But what we need to do, we need to assign this guy. Uh, change. Okay, wait. Just do assign compliance policy. You're gonna assign us, but on top of this, we need to do something. Open scap. We need to put open scap proxy. We set it up to this. We don't need to import that. Submit. Okay, so now. We need to run it again. 
Alright, let's give it some time. There we go. That's the report. Oh, sorry. Uh, come here. Report. And here is the report. Okay. Uh, now, this is the compliance report. You can um, click on it. Okay. You can go compliance. So this tells you what passed, what didn't pass, and the uh, other. Okay. Let's dive in deeper. So, okay. These are the, uh, okay, that's that passed. This is what failed. Verify and correct for permission. Verify ash and so forth. So you can uh, filter it. You can say, okay, show me the ones that failed only. And um, you can. Uh, download the HTML then we can open it up now this is the full HTML okay this is nice because it's quite interactive so you can also filter out from here so let's say I just wanted to see what it failed no check not applicable okay and these are the ones that failed so uh, you can click on it so this tells you what failed okay with a good description all right and this um, these are the steps that tells you how to investigate it okay so for instance, okay, let's let's try to fix this one. All right, uh, hold on. Let me have a look. And there we go. Remedi so you've got a remediation script that basically fixes basically fixes that. So what you'll do, you'll select it like that. And then. Let's go on the machine. Let's create test sh. Put the remediation script. Execute it. Let's run it. Now this will fix it. We just need manually. There's a way to automate this as well from the <coughs> from the front end. So let that run. That's the first one. This is the second one. Uh, okay. So invincible. What does it do? Okay. So we don't really have invincible. So what is it complaining about? I can can we install it? Oh, let's see. Then it can be reinstalled. Hmm. I think that's how you have to look it up. Okay, that is done. To look at this. Okay, let's read this without crypto other integrity either. Mm, okay, this one requires a lot of investigation. And thus is Yeah, this is just a um, Sticky, uh, not sticky bit. Um, SUID.
Okay, so it does not lack the CID of this. <coughs> Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this permission. So why don't you like that? Uh, the should be set on the uh, Okay. Need to validate this um, because this is okay. It does for Rhino's root. You know what? Stick it out. Just take it out. I don't think it's so important. Let's do the password. Okay, da, 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 da. remove any instance of the now. Okay, all right. Yeah, this is for setting empty password. allows you to set pass, uh, empty password good now you see when you run it again okay we fixed everything except the one so our failure rate should Yeah, our fail result should decrease now. So we're gonna run it again. Give it some time. Okay, we'll come back to this now. Okay, uh, the second scan completed. Let's close this. That's the first one. Go to host report. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. So the first one we had, we had four failures. Now we have two failures. So a look, compliance, fifteen percent error, and this will be mainly. Uh, Hmm, let's have a look. It will be mainly, mainly the one that I couldn't fix. Uh, I that I didn't fix. Let's have a look, yeah. Yeah, so this one we can kind of ignore. Verify ash. Yeah, so now it's just the ashes that are fading. But these, okay, so these are the files that are fading ashes. It's, it's, it's a part of the, I think they were part of the former installation. Um, but it's okay. In, you get the point. All right. Uh, let's go. Port again. Yeah, okay. 
All right, that's about it, folks. Um, we've installed OpenSCAP and we ran a compliance check on the host. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, bye.